runmichigan.com here with uh, Don McMahon. Trains and lives in the Rochester area. Uh, the Hanson's Brooks Racing Team. Uh, here at the 5th Third Riverlake Run. Uh, Don, you've always done really well here. The race you love, I'm sure you love. So, uh, good place overall today. Uh, yeah. Talk about your race for us. Um, you know, we had a great pack of uh, probably five or six people through at least like seven, eight miles, and then I tried pulling ahead and, um, you know, took Claire with me, who was uh, third overall, and um, also Esther, who was fourth, so we had a pretty good pack rolling for most of the race. Uh, I felt like I was... I was feeling really good, so I, I took a lot of the win for the majority of the race there, and then uh, Claire, I think she went went by me right around mile 12, maybe it was 11 actually, and uh, you know I just tried to match form with her for a while, but she just kept pulling away, um, and then Esther had fallen back probably around mile 10, and uh, she ended up catching me the last half mile, so I was trying to run away from her pretty hard, but she just had a little bit more today. Yeah, I mean, you know, I felt great for 90% uh, of the race, so, you know, it was just that last little bit that I just I feel like I didn't have much in the tank for that last half mile, really. This really seems like it's so hit and miss with weather. We've had some great days here. Wet days and wet days. Yeah. I mean, it definitely affected me a little bit, but um, yeah, as far as here goes, I mean, no rain is huge. And then, uh, you know, the wind, I kind of always kind of expect it, you know, and I was here one year that it was really bad wind. Like, I saw a road barricade, like, go blowing by. So, you know, nothing will ever be that extreme again, you know, so it's pretty average for this time of year. So at this point, you're uh, in your running and your training for a long time now. Yeah, 11 years. Yeah. 11 years, yeah. uh, 11 years uh, uh, Rochester uh, Area Running and uh, originally Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, my original plan was to retire at the end of this year, um, but it's hard to it's hard to walk away when you feel good. And I have been feeling really good lately. Training's been going well, so uh, I'm just gonna leave it open ended for now. But uh, probably. My last marathon will be the end of this year. I'm gonna run New York City Marathon. This has my plan. Um, it's on my 40th birthday, so I figured it'd be a good way to celebrate my 40th birthday, and then uh, maybe take the winter and just keep things pretty easy, and then uh, probably train for this again next year because I'll be 40 again. It's just kind of a new frontier for me, and so I might dabble in that. Dabble in the Masters. Dabble in the Masters. I don't know. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. You know. I, my daughter kind of requires a little bit more time and I kind of want to start, you know, getting more involved in her sports and kind of do the mom thing a little bit more. You've definitely been a great uh, uh, ambassador, I guess, for Hanson's Brooks. Yeah, I, they've been really good to me, you know, over the years and uh, I would have never developed into the athlete I am without them. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you.